she right now is me, distinguished the guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Sir, it is a great honor for any ambassador posted anywhere in the world to welcome one of the most dynamic leaders of this country to this country of accreditation. It becomes the proudest moment when one is joined by the Indian diaspora and the friends of India. Sir, it is an honor to us again to Japan. For someone who has traveled to Japan many times, and I remember hearing about uh, your last visit in 2014, when you actually established state-to-state um, -state relationship with uh, Wakayama and maintained that relationship uh, to the extent that the governor still remembers the warmth with which we, you received them during their visit to Mumbai. Sir, as you are fully aware of the importance of the depth of our relationship with Japan, over the last few years, our relationship has transformed from what was mostly a G to G, government to government relationship to a business to business relationship. And today, a special and um, special strategic and global partnership under the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, who in 2014 established this partnership with the then Prime Minister, Mr. Abe. And this relationship continues to get reinforced every day under the leadership of Prime Minister Kishida san and our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi. I am sure that in coming weeks and months, we will continue to build that relationship. In India's transformation, and also in this transformation in our bilateral relationship, our Indian diaspora in Japan, which is small but dynamic, played a very, very important role. Our diaspora includes, who are present here today, yes. we have scientists, we have professors, we have CEOs, we have artists, engineers, business persons, and of course, we have skilled, young, uh, dynamic, uh, skilled workers who have come and contributing in the progress of Japan and also progress of India-Japan relationship. They are always with the embassy to celebrate India every day. This year we are celebrating India-Japan Year of Tourism with the theme connecting Himalayas with Mount Fuji. You can see wow. the yes. Yes. In Mount Fuji there. And um, they are also contributing in what we today undertook the Amrit Khan, a journey to India's, uh, India at 2047 when India turns 100. In, in this transformation, we see Japan as an important partner. Sir, I would not like to speak long. We look forward to uh, hearing from you. We once again welcome you today to this small gathering, but we feel honored with your presence today. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I, also, I also see uh, Dr. Samir Saran, who is the head of uh, uh, ORF and also who is the chair of uh, Raisina Dialogue, which we launched a mm. few years back, and now it has become one of the most sought after uh, dialogues anywhere in the world. I can, having seen Davos closely, I can say that uh, definitely Raisina Dialogue is more sought after uh, today. Uh, welcome, Mr. Samir Sarai. Thank you. Thank you once again, sir. Please.